question we ask for the ischemia CKD trial is in patients who have uh, advanced CKD and moderate, and at least moderate ischemia on stress test, is there a benefit of adding cardiac catheterization and revascularization if suitable to optimal medical therapy? To this end, we designed an international randomized controlled trial. Um, this was funded by NHLBI. Uh, the uh, design was to enroll patients with moderate or severe ischemia and advanced chronic kidney disease. Patients were randomized one to one, either to an invasive strategy of optimal medical therapy and cardiac catheterization and revascularization, if feasible, or to a conservative strategy of uh, optimal medical therapy alone with cath and revascularization preserved for failure of uh, optimal medical therapy. The primary endpoint was a composite of uh, death and myocardial infarction. Our major secondary endpoint was a composite. It was a five-point composite. It was uh, a composite of all-cause mortality, myocardial infarction, hospitalization for unstable angina, heart failure, or resuscitated cardiac arrest. Our major uh, safety outcome was a composite of uh, all-cause death or dialysis in patients who are not on dialysis at baseline. So over a period of uh, approximately three to four years, we uh, enrolled 802 sites from 30 countries and 118 sites. 388 were randomized to invasive strategy, 389 to the conservative strategy, um, and uh, the median follow-up in survivors ranged between 2.3 to 2.5 years. Now for the main results, for the primary uh, endpoint, the three-year uh, rates were around 36.7 percent in the conservative strategy. The corresponding rates in the invasive strategy was 36.5. The adjusted hazard ratio was 1.01. P-value was not statistically significant. For the major secondary endpoint, again, we noticed that uh, there was no uh, evidence of statistical significance between the invasive and conservative strategy. In fact, this was true for uh, many of the endpoints, uh, many of the components of the composite endpoints, including no difference in all-cause mortality, no difference in uh, cardiovascular death, no difference in myocardial infarction. However, when we divided the myocardial infarction based on spontaneous versus procedural, we would notice somewhat of a higher rate of procedural MI and a lower rate of spontaneous MI with invasive when compared to conservative strategy. For the outcome of stroke, we noticed, uh, we observed that the rate of stroke was higher in the invasive strategy when compared to conservative strategy, and this in fact reached uh, statistical significance. However, the rate of procedural stroke was extremely rare. It was seen in only one patient in the invasive, one patient in the conservative strategy. Uh, for the safety outcome of uh, death or new dialysis, we observed a significant higher rate of death or new dialysis in patients not on dialysis at baseline with invasive when con compared to conservative strategy. Uh, the, there was no difference in death, and this difference was driven only by uh, new dialysis uh, in these group of patients. So overall, our conclusion is that uh, the procedural risk with the pr procedure was extremely low. Despite a low procedural risk, overall we did not find a significant benefit of uh, a routine invasive strategy in advanced CKD patients who had moderate or severe ischemia when compared to conservative strategy.